Greetings and welcome back my friends to the darkest dungeon. I'm Fwop and we are continuing our quest to rock the Kazba, the darkest Kazba. Um, <laughs> some of my my viewers have brought it to my attention. I'll let you know I don't actually check the wiki for information I don't know about this game because I like to be surprised. Um, but something that wouldn't have occurred to me, but makes sense. Um, I, I've been told that the Grotesque Shambler will only appear in pitch blackness in the veteran level missions. Or actually, I guess I don't know if it's veteran level, um, but that they only appear in hallways as random combats in pitch blackness, which is probably something I should, you know, avoid, uh, basically. At least for the moment. Um, they do drop ancestral quality loot, which is pretty sick. Um, but another day. Uh, I do want this Blasmus vial, and I want deeds so that I can take my equipment to the next level. Uh, and I think long missions are notoriously easy. 20% damage, minus three speed for anybody is pretty damn good um, uh, this thing what could I combo that with Dismaz head but look at just speed does 45% damage oh who cares it'd be really good on bounty hunters actually Okay, I want this. Explore 90% of rooms, veteran level. Um, these guys have been taking it easy, chilling at the brothel. Uh, she looks a little rough. Uh, uh, but, you know. Uh, so let's go back. Damage done, debuff, that's all pretty cool, but it does screw with her healing skills. So the 20% heal, not that bad. It's definitely gonna be a point or two. Lock of Fury, Abomination, 10% damage, three speed. That is an excellent item for the Abomination. Um, excellent. Okay, we're taking care of stress. So let's look at what we got here. We want a serious team. Um, <clears throat> I believe <laughs> we don't want to adventure in the dark um, just yet. Uh, and of course, um, level four characters are going to crush these missions. Level three characters are going to be weak. And then level five characters will refuse to go on them. Um, so let's see what we got here. Let's do a light party adventure. We have an abomination. Let's remember that he can't go with most of our standard healers. Okay, that's enough heal for all of us. Let's bring a plague doctor, one who's stressed out, and then we can, <coughs> we're gonna get one more adventure out of him before he's really stressed, so let's just take him now. This guy's got the worries. Maybe we should take him. Where do you belong, Jester? All over the damn place. He's a warrior of light too, that's nice. All right. Okay, we're not looking too shabby here. I'll note that locking down things was way less expensive on lower level people, uh, which might be a, a valid tactic, um, which is to uh, upgrade, I mean, it's a really, really niche one, I think, but to uh, <sighs> try and push ahead with as, instead of bringing everyone up at once, try and push far ahead 
to gain lots of resources at the higher levels, use that to upgrade your um, sanitarium and use that to lock down a bunch of awesome traits in lower level people so that your first higher level people kind of go with what they got, but the rest of you. All right. Pentel's got some serious diseases. Um, his is kind of brutal. We got the cure up in here and we have two camps. this long adventure there will be lots of food what if I brought this crew seems a little sketchy but I like the idea of holy lance always do Oops. where would he exist kind of in the middle Slice off an excellent attack. Battle Ballad. So much speed. So solo, then you pretty much go first, you get the finale. You don't have anyone to protect him after the finale. But after the finale, he doesn't have to do much. If I could turn back time. Now the solo will guarantee that we can get off our holy lance all the time. Healing is going to be up to food. We do have one of my favorite combos, Eye of the Tiger's Eye. And Unshakable Leader, that's seven. Oh, she can cure her own disease very cheaply in time cost. Night moves I like, so that's ten. And then he has a disease. 11. Of course, Pilfer can be used twice. Got a lot of disease cure and resistance here. Um, what is tetanus doing? We're just gonna keep the torch level high. Do we have enough damage? With that accuracy and crit chance, I'm gonna go with no.
How about these niggies? There's my damage, there's my stress heal. Kinda wanna purchase that, but I'm sure the upgrades here are gonna be painful. All right, I think this is doable. Got a minor amount of sustain. Only because it's in the Warrens where food is plentiful, so. And most of these guys are fully upgraded, which is what I need. Okay, it's as cheap as it gets. Also as cheap as it gets. Might have to sell something to break into this market here. This leper mask seems nice, but I'm not feeling it. These two highwaymen things, eh. The dodge and speed are good. The ranged accuracy sucks. Let's, first off, let's nix that. These two things are pretty nice, I must admit. That. We'll save these for now. Okay, let's see if that's enough. No point in overdoing it. Okay, Theon. All these skills are good and useful. How much better does this get? 2% more blight resist, 2% more damage. Stressed other heroes, eight still. Human, minus one speed. Um, so the speed penalty goes down. The heal goes up and everyone else's stress heal goes up. Done. I found all these abilities quite useful. This one, of course, I use a lot. The hit points go up by two here. What do you get here? No crit mod, just, a, just accuracy. This one, the damage continues to creep up. Damage gained from using this skill. That's when you get accuracy, 10% debuff, chance for all debuffs. This one increases the damage and reduces blight resistance. But this is a pretty blightful um, enemy swarm here. I think I'm going to spend a lot of time in beast mode. This one lets him move forward. That one just does full damage. Let's take a break. Five percent accuracy kind of sucks. This one knocked back a dodge speed. less accurate. This is a very movie party, so let's go with that since it does, it can be used from rank three. And that, I find that to be an excellent move. Okay, here. Um, 
Am I satisfied with what we've got? Such a crit chance. Cure, Blight, Bleed, Dodge, Speed, Shadow Fade, Poison Darts, not the optimal move for the Warrens. So I might go with Throne Dagger instead. As it's sick, as a sick crit, crit chance and buffs our accuracy. Okay, I think I am gonna sell this. Now, I use Shadow Fade all the time. Might as well get the most out of it. Um, this one, the crit doesn't go up, just the accuracy. This one, it is also just the accuracy. This one, the accuracy, bleed resist, self buff. Mm, here the accuracy does increase. I mean the crit chance does increase. Here the crit chance does increase. Okay, definitely want this. Battlefield Medicine Heal goes up a little bit. 2% extra damage, 6 speed. Eh, not really worth it right now. Um, Blighty has that stun chance, so key. And then Blight is what we're working with. So increasing that Blight chance here. Go for Incision. It's not a very strong bleed. You're going to be in back. Let's... Uh, clearing corpses might be really good in this case to make sure that Rake is working on enemies all the time. Um, so we're actually... I think I'm going to go with... with this rather odd combo, right? Um, the question is, so it does a little bit of damage, it just gets more and more accurate. I guess it just gets a crit chance increase here. Uh, I'm not really interested in paying for that. Sometimes it's worth unlocking. This doesn't look like a good upgrade to me. Five accuracy, eh. Um, but this last one might be. So it's kind of worth it, worth the wait sometimes. All right, so let's get these guys out of here. Go on this long mission. I know this is taking forever. Um, camping twice. Just take two full stacks of that here. 24 food. Camp twice, that's gonna be 16. Maybe eat four times, that is a, another 16. So maybe I should take more. I didn't look at my Jester skills. Man. Man, it's because he's way down here. Okay. What are we working with here? Do I want to stick with these? I'll push people around. See, they really shouldn't have a problem hitting me. Let's 
Inspiring Tune, going to be pretty important. Battle Ballad, probably really good for us. Um, let's take that. Yeah, here we go. This time we're going to go with this. Dirk Stab to allow us to move around. Um, slice off Battle Ballad. Slice off going to be pretty key here, I think, um, for chopping the bleed, bleedable um, enemies doing crits. Uh, Battle Ballad for increasing everyone's crit chance because we're kind of a crit focused crew. So let's maximize Slice off. All the Battle Ballad up. We get one more speed, one more accuracy, no more crit chance. This one, always good to get more there. And let's not miss, plus the crit chance goes up. Which means I'm selling something else. I'm gonna sell that. So I want 32. Oh hell, let's just take it all. Um, generally we don't need too many shovels, but I think three, let's play it safe with three, I guess, stitch of food for another key, and call it ready to go. Now, we haven't equipped these guys, that seems like a thing. This is so good. 12 dodge, 10 accuracy range, and we're going to be adventuring in the light. That seems reasonable. These are some of our best items. Party surprise. Eldritch Slayer. No, we do want the Bee Slayer's ring, I'm pretty sure, up in here. She could probably use this. I feel like the Jester always needs some combat buffs. Let's go with dodge buff, some stress. Scouting would be good. Debuff. Not really our bed jam this time around. 
and our <laughs> plague doctor has more health um, than anyone else. He'll recover easily from the extra stress and doesn't need the health, so that's a good combo with him. Here we've got some stress protection and a little bit of extra stress plus trap guarantee. guarantee. And here we toughen him up and go with accuracy. We do need to cure her disease as quickly as possible. Probably in the first camp, but Snuffbox is super cheap for doing so. Uh, and camp heals are actually going to be could be important for us. Um, I guess I could save money if I assumed I would use healing skills when I rest. So if I just take the projected food amount and assume I can scavenge some. Oh, I, here I am. Let's see, I assume I can scavenge a lot here. If I save like a thousand at least, I can. Okay, we've got good blight bleed cure. Forgot. Checking. Um, let's take four. Purge to carry around one of those. For the occasional alter -y thing, right? Maybe it's not worth my money. Not if we're going to be adventuring in the light. Okay, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Man, that took me forever. Took me forever. Sorry that took so long, guys. Just nervous about these veteran missions. God. They've been so brutal. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. 19 rooms. So I feel like scouting is pretty key as the number of rooms increases to like this amount. Assume, I guess, that 20 rooms is probably the max. Uh, would be my thought. Let's see. Let's actually have him at the back for the moment. He can't actually do that much from the front. Stuns. I really want to scout this middle room here. So let's go this way first. you both okay you really do have to keep on top of your levels if you want to apply stuns debuffs blight bleed to these monsters okay we're gonna need some of that do it see if I care Dodge is brutal though. Okay, we're gonna need this. It's exactly the thing to be raging out on, although really we'll be doing more damage in like two rounds if we deal with this. Or we could try and rage this thing. That should be a, like an instant kill. Crush this advantage. Let's just crush Give that. Them no quarter. A 
Let's let him deal with this. Eleven to twenty-one damage. It'll take like three hits. It's got a higher crit chance. Yeah, okay. It's just rage. Do it again since. He's already acted. Well, this one hasn't acted. Mm. Yes, yes. Done. Good. It's guaranteed that he finishes him off. We can buy ourselves some time to de stress. King Swinatar. Distress. Not so bad in the light. Definitely want to use Rake this time. The damage is just going to keep ramping up. That thing's much harder to stun. We only have 34% chance. This thing. Let's try and nail this. Battle Ballad. And then we'll go for the stun here. Yeah, I figured the Swinotar would resist, but a good stun on that guy. We are a little dodgy. Can resist. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Dislike. is bad. This guy moves back for another charge. Hmm, I was gonna say let's go for the kill. Oh the push is good. That was that was pretty slick. Let's take him out before he can apply more debuffs or anything to us. on. Whew. 
Okay, we want to push our poor little dude back here. But I don't want to push that back. So unfortunately, he's just going to have to sit up there. Let's finish him off before he can broken. act. Maintain the offensive. We've only got one target here. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Good, good. Let's crush these. Maybe we can prevent this guy from using his charge. Give him a taste of the bleed. Okay. Let's just let the bleed do its work. Self-medication here. I'm just gonna tank and restore a bit. I'm gonna keep this up. So you got eight health. But he'll die of the bleed. Without adventuring in the dark, that was kind of brutal. We get our scout on. And before I tackle either of these rooms, I think I want to rest. We got some beat up crew here. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Okay, accuracy and stress resistance. Let's try Snuffbox. Did cure both diseases. No worries. Let's do that. Okay, that leaves us with 10, which is plenty. Definitely want that. Go for stress control. Do a three and a two. Mockery's not bad. Stress damage resistance. Stress. Okay, two twos and a one. Do I have a one? No. Let's go with Tiger's Eye. Accuracy. Put it on him. The stress resistance will also be good for him. 
And then let's actually make someone else stress resistant. Um, like my plague doctor. Because he's not likely to crit, so hey, why not? So, damage, accuracy, stress resistance, stress resistance, and otherwise, that's it. The way is lit, the path is clear. No ambush. We require only the strength to follow it. Let us... We don't have to walk this old corridor. We can come down here, pop out this door, grab that, and then head back up. So let's go this way. I think you got this, dude. town will only drink. Okay, so you can acquire that negative trait. Uh, could be worse. Oops, I let my light go down a bit low. I wonder if scouting happens after combat. Over here, see, if you're at, if you're not, so, so radiant and the next step down, don't give you any loot bonuses, it's just stress increase and less chance of surprising monsters and less chance of scouting. So if you're if you're in the third rank, you should be in the fourth, the highest rank of light. And then if you're in the second, you might as well be at zero, basically is how I feel about it. Unless you're avoiding, as I learned, the freaking shamblers. I didn't reorder my party. Well that's that might have been a poor choice. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Um, if I'm out of order, oh darn. Then that's all there is. Okay, these things are fairly bleed resistant. Uh, we've got like a 40% chance of causing bleed on this thing. Can we kill it? Let's try and kill it before axe and push our plague doctor back. This wasn't quite what I intended to do immediately, but hey. If we push this back. Wow, so much damage. That is a beast, and he does have the uh, Beast Slayer ring. Oh, thank goodness. Six to 12, certainly not a kill. Let's set them up. Maybe we can get a kill here. That will not be enough. How fast is he? Let's just work on healing up a bit. Oh, yes! Continually Crush onslaught. those two. Destroy them all. Nice. What's done resistant. But we have a decent chance. It was better than 50%. Strong chance it crits here. Their cursed champion falls. 
Nice. Okay, we did find a medicinal herb. That was something success. that occurred to me as being possible. There we go. That. What the hell is this? Oh my god, look at that scout. I think if your light is high at the end of the mission, it will help your scouting. But if it's not high when you enter the room, of course you won't get that surprise bonus. Okay. A dark altar with skulls prominently displayed. Strange power can be felt in its presence. If it's a debuff, we can just chug a medicinal herb to deal with it. Like, you're already bloodthirsty, dude. Go for it. And it looks like it increased our damage by 15%. Maybe our accuracy by 10 as well. Crit chance. Plus 5 crit chance. Oh yeah, plus 10 accuracy, plus 5 crit, plus 15% damage. Wow, was that good. Thank you, Dark Altar. Uh, you can tell because it says Curio here uh, as to why you have that bonus. Okay. Um, who's got... Who's got Trap Disarm? If I save the treasure room for last, I can snuff my light right before I hit it. Which could be good. Or we could try to explore as much as possible before fighting all the room battles. 100%. that stress heal on him, although I guess it's kind of risky. Oh, I should have given him the, the candle. That's, that's what's going on here. But I'm fine with him having lots of hit points. try and get around with as little combat as possible. If you avoid hallway fights, you won't end up fighting the Shambler, I'm going to assume. Here I'm making this weird path. Good scouting does let you adventure in the dark because you can just avoid fights. Oh, my scouting chance to be high whenever I enter one of these central rooms. Okay, we are boxed in with fights here. Let's go ahead and go this way. These things are nasty, uh, but not the worst. We will need his bleed. So let's go ahead and lunge. We'll rake whatever's left. And we just denied them two turns. A singular strike. Rake you're going to want to use almost all the time whenever you can hit two targets. resist. Let's 
done this one. Let's get into the back, maybe for a stress heal next turn. Make sure to use Absolution as much as possible. Victories mount, so too will resistance. Oh, this must be that body obsession thing. Okay, nothing but traps. Let's peek out this door. Grab that. Peek back inside. You still want to walk around as efficiently as possible just to conserve food. But if we save our camp for the end, we won't need necessarily the stress resistance. Now, remember unequipping that bottle is going to reduce our max health, which could damage us. Um, so it's much safer to equip the candle and drop this, even though that reduces our cha trap chance by a tiny bit. It still should be plenty. Scouted. Can get here again. Do that jazz. Okay, what is this? Dim. quite finish off all the scouting. Looks like there's two fights right here at the end. Um, remember, we are exploring. One of the nice things about camping and saving up like eight food or 16 or whatever is it gives you a lot of flexibility, especially if you don't actually use it. You there. Oh, you. Yeah. Touch it. Thirsty, all right, whatever. We want scouting, so let's get up in here. This one, we're gonna drop just below the threshold here, so let's pop As a torch. The light gains purchase. Spirits are 100% is not a higher category than made clear. Um, 76 plus. Him. Okay, Rake is what we're going for. Beast Slayer Ring, so dependable in the Warrens. Remember, those things have a, quite a bit of protection on them. We nail both of those in front. We're going to want to shuffle these corpses and clear those so that he can rake these guys. Such a terrible that sucks. I'm glad we... Left unanswered. Oh, come on. Just take care of yourself, dude. 
Hitting that one in back is something this big guy can't do, but he is able to rage and deny that one a turn with his incredibly sick damage. A dizzying blow to now I kind of want another brain. abomination. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's get our stun on. Save him a little stress. Did he not regenerate stress from transforming? He only healed. Mm. That's less than I would hope. Oh, we are just barely in the top and radiant. When we enter here. Excellent, the good scout. Now we have scouted almost everywhere. We may have missed this corridor. But uh we can walk down this corridor. We can let the light dim. Um in the hopes of loot. Because we now know pretty much whatever we're gonna face in a hallway. Do I want the light high for that fight? No. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Got quite a few torches left. Book. What could go wrong? Oh, all sorts of stuff that I'm not interested in dealing with. Okay, let's try this room fight in the dark. That sucks. Hysterical blindness. Okay, well, we keep these guys stunned. We're gonna rake the crap out of the front row. He's gonna spend some quality time strumming to himself. That one I want stunned too, really. Good. Dazed, reeling. Ouch. Ouch. Break. Ouch. So good. Like death's door. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. And oh, really? Well struck. Hmm, interesting. A powerful blow. Excellent. Come on, guys, we just need one rake. That one's faster, and I want it dead. Masterfully Ooh. executed. These Crit heal, huh? creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Okay, now we need desperately to feed him. And you know what? I'm tempted just to camp.
Let's open this first. Mm, I don't think that was worth it. Let's let's camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Hysterical blindness. Let's just get rid of that. Twenty health for four time. Oh no. Oh. And it whiffed? Jesus. Okay, let's go with that. One campaign increased stress. Everyone else feels better. Don't need scouting. Let's reduce his stress damage so that we can get rid of that. So mock, hmm. So it, you increase one person's stress, but it's targeted, that's what's so good. Uh, but then he's not actually affected by it at all, it seems like. So 20 stress for 40 stress. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, that's not so bad. Especially on him. Those debuffs do very little to him. The speed is a little, a little troubling, but even that's not so bad. Let's feed him. We haven't had luck finding extra food, which sucks. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. So mostly I think we just want to avoid fights. Which should be pretty possible. Oh, look at that. That is not what we're into. And we should be coming. Oh, look, a fight. Um. You desperately need some stress heal. Dodge. Oh, I see what troubles I'm having. Let's get the most for our stress. Hmm. These things both have AoE stress causing, which sucks. be fine. Let's just rage on that bra. Let's advance because I really want to get this plague doctor to the back. I'm gonna put some bleed on that thing. Not so not such a problem. The end approaches. Scree! Okay, that's 15 turns of bleed we just cured there. Plus three actual health. Okay, rage. We only need one attack. Rage is the one to choose. Stun that. You want to manually return this abomination? Precision and power. Okay, that bleed is going to be enough to 
kill him, but he's still got two turns left, huh? Start pumping his own health up a little bit. Yeah, I noticed, I don't think I got the stress heal if I waited until the end of the fight. You do get the actual heal. Uh, maybe I just didn't see it. He is dangerously close to cracking. We don't want that. Two to five, this may or may not kill. There's an all right chance for a crit and it buys us a little time for a little extra heal or whatnot. And let's go ahead and fish for that crit. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Man at arms, 15% max hit points. Push on to the task's end. It's not bad. I would love to find a pile of food. You're the opposite of food. Um, otherwise, if we're faced with running out of food, we need to as quickly as possible get to places we haven't explored. Um, which may mean moving through this fight. That was a pile of books. There's six rooms left, two of which have no fights in them. Let's fight. Hey! Not so bad. Easily controlled, not too dangerous. I want to stun this one so I can slash this one with my jester. Is that enough bleed? Oh, it didn't bleed. Yeah, just keep working away there. He's stunned and marked. Mm. Fish for crits with that really high crit attack. to the back. Maybe we can get some stress heal. That's the problem. We keep moving our him to the front. Fight. Pride precipitates it's exactly the kind of fight we ball. wanted. If possible, going this way would be good. We'll get these two rooms without a fight. We'll avoid these room battles, I think. I'm not feeling too uppity. And we'll go down and take this treasure room last. Seems like a quality decision on my part. Seven torches left. The light, the promise of safety. Good, good. Let's try for that one. Ah, the good's done. You Rake is certainly the option here. Both these guys will survive a shot, and Rake's damage will just continue to ramp up. By the time this is the only guy left, it'll be absolutely worth it. Um, I don't think I actually need to heal. Crit heals are good. He loves that. For now I can... Okay, I 
Excellent. We could try for the stun, but we'd have a 19% chance. Having a character with really high health makes them a good repository for food. Mm, we could kill this one in front. It hasn't acted. Can we? I mean, no, we can stun it. Or we can wear that guy down. Let's say we can stun this next turn. And fish for a crit. We're not going to be fighting too many more fights. So let's try and get the maximum stress resist out of this. Uh, uh. Good job. Fish over crits because I think Rake is going to end it this turn. So let's see, 57 stress, let's watch. We can end it before this thing acts. Speed six. She hasn't gone yet, but oh, she has a stun too. Yeah, let's wait. Since the jester can reduce stress, him having a bit of stress when he goes into an adventure isn't such a big deal. Oh shit. That sucks. I guess we won't be finding out this turn. has no intrinsic nice. merit unless inordinate exsanguination be inordinate exsanguination totally a virtue um i haven't seen any blight we are still desperately low on food for the this particular yeah now we are out of food <clears throat> I just want to finish this quest and leave now. Told you we hadn't scouted that corridor. Food or die. I did it on my Plague Doctor because I was desperately afraid that my Plague Doctor would be the one to bite it. Um, we can whip these guys. Whip it good. We can stun that one. Yeah. Not deadly enough. Yeah, let's put it into that one. Okay, let's see. Let's fish for crits using rake. Ooh, we didn't kill it. That sucks. But we pushed our plague doctor to the back. I think it's safer there. One rake will finish it. We can fish for a crit. Mm. 
success so clearly in view? I don't think that or actually did it. Or is it merely of the light? Come on, food thing. He's already a tippler. Boon at last. 30% increased damage. Whew. That is some serious. Okay. There's an empty room we haven't seen here, and there's a room fight in between us and it. As little as I actually want to engage in a big fight. Um, shovels, you're not helping me at all. Shovels were complete waste here. I hate you. Okay, big problem here. Very low health. Although, really, these guys are about the same. Stress heal is not my main thing at the moment. Let's hope for... Okay, nothing big. The madman is a nasty touch. Blight. 60% blight resist. That gives me a 60% chance of causing it. Let's just forget that. We're doing all right on stress control. Yeah, we might end that thing before it begins, which is great. The madman gets his say. This guy. I don't think I can miss this body. And that will make my rake more effective. That sucks. That rocks. Yeah, I bet you roar. Okay, let's put some damage on him as... Nice. Remember that's basically a 9 damage hit that continues to deal damage. A stun here will give us a nice uh, sustain round. Um, after he gets done with your friends. How quickly uh, the time that was all the health he had. No, don't go next. Okay, Plague Doctor, I need you to... No, my gestures always die. He is not dead. Okay, that's good. Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor. No. No. Yes. Yes. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter. Plague Doctor! Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is exactly what I needed. Here. And jesters are spite, full of spite. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. Well, we shouldn't need torches. If I'm gonna carry around a gem. In radiance, may we find victory. Step out here. Why don't you disarm that trap? Okay, now we're avoiding everything as much as possible and just wrapping up the quest. Tell me this is it. Whew. 
And uh, so we're going to continue adventuring because I want to step out here and see what that is. Oh, a book. Just what I don't need. And we're done. We're going to skip this treasure room. We're way too beat up, out of resources. No food left. We're lucky we didn't starve. Somehow, all of our medicinal herbs went to waste. Um, so did our shovel and skeleton key and a skeleton key. So on large Warren levels where I expect the ma there's going to be so many rooms, it's probably going to look like this anyway. Um, I think you can go low on shovels. You may even go lighter on shovels than you would on um, shorter adventures in the Warren. Okay. Let's tally it up. I think we escaped without any extra diseases. Impossible. Um, we did, of course, secure this sick legendary bracer. 20% uh, more damage because you look so cool. Um, minus three speed because you are too cool to run. Um, 14 portraits. That's pretty good. That's about um, equivalent to like 28 deeds or busts. Huh? Uh -huh. um, and 19k gold. Not bad. Not bad. Uh oh. Somehow, Pantol hit level 4 already. Uh, that's good. On guard is really good. Okay. When do you replace something actually good? Fuck, that sucks. Oh, no, no. Stout was the lame healing camp one. Okay, so this actually rocks, because he actually... Uh, I can't think of a character that heals stress more than an abomination. Mm, the abomination damage, oh, so good. The degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Mm-hmm. All right, we cured the fits all on some people. Clumsy was removed. Bad gambler was gained. That's not so bad, 69 stress. He prayed. All right, all right. Nothing wrong with that. Master grave robber. Okay, with our massive horde of portraits, we can finish skill upgrade. So as a level four, she would be able to use this. Um, that will take all of that. And only one character could possibly use that right now. I don't know if it's worth it. Tavern upgrades might actually be more worthwhile. Um, we're starting to get to the point where people are getting pretty picky about where they relieve their stress. Um, deeds are still what we need. Um, that was a pretty sick item though. What might we tackle next? Here's deed land. Um, not the worst item ever. Ooh, I would love to get that. Um, Lock of Fury. Yeah, they, they really whine about that, don't they? Mm, the Sun Ring, I see it's not a bad choice for breaking into the next higher level of... Uh, dungeon so we want a pile of level fours to tackle these bosses Ooh, I remember that image going with much cooler thing oh the quick draw charm it's not really that's a pretty good item uh, especially for I would say occultists so they can go first did I <laughs> Just never okay. I'm quite tempted by this one, a medium, but the long ones I feel are not terribly difficult. Uh, room battles actually. <laughs> not not really interested in room battles. Um, we can get rocked. Uh, although really, if I took. Um, Is this in the wield? If I took the right crew uh, and went light, I think the monsters aren't too bad. We 
Abomination might almost qualify. And we want to rush from level... We want to get as much XP as possible, and the longer missions offer more XP. We do kind of want to push to get a crew level 4s for bosses. But who... Maybe Bunnell... It's a pretty sick crew. Suppressive fire? Yeah, I would like to rank him. This looks like a solid crew to me. It's interesting that Theon getting pumped up the ranks so fast. That's just how the cookie crumbles today. Alright, that would be my thought. Um, anyone cool here? Nope. What about here? Now that we're fighting longer quests, it becomes more reasonable to purchase things. Um, I think that may be actually the big difference. Going on long quests actually nets you a significant monetary increase. Okay, let's sort by stress. Theon with it has decent stress relief on his own. He's supposed to restore stress to other people. And then, of course, always try and lock someone away. Love to save up for an extra ward here, but of course. Bleed resist pretty bad, oh, God. but I can't. Okay, fine. I remember things will be cheaper on these lower level guys, especially the ones that are about to level up, you might consider just going for it. Never want less hit points. Fitz really isn't bad. On you. On we. Skip for now. Neville. Creeping cough, let's just go ahead and nix that. Alright, disease was once out of control in our ranks, now not so much. And we are ready to head back out in the dark. Sorry this episode took so long. It was a long mission. Well, uh, yes, until next time, thank you so much for watching. 
I will see you then. Remember, January 4th live stream uh, will probably start around 2 p.m. Eastern time like we have in the past um, and continue uh, until, I don't know, obviously I go to like 10 o'clock, I just can't help it. Um, and we're going to do all sorts of games. Uh, we will be switching around content. There'll be a little bit of dead time. Um, but all in all, I think it will be a total blast. And we'll, of course, be talking up all the series we're going to be running on the three different channels we're going to have. That's right, three channels. Levy, FWAP, and the Bleak House Cooperative Collaborative Channel. Uh, until then, farewell. And remember that it's all downhill from here.